Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to hop on and do a review of the Baby Leto Kiwi Glider. It's an electric glider that's fairly popular. Uh, but before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I usually put out videos about handbags and jewelry, but now I'm, that I'm a new mom, I also put out content about uh, stuff for moms and babies. And if you end up liking this video, please do give me a thumbs up down below. Um, so this is the Baby Leto Kiwi Glider. I purchased it for $800 plus $159 white glove delivery from West Elm. Um, you can buy this glider for $800 and move it yourself, but we paid for the extra delivery because I was obviously heavily pregnant and couldn't help my husband carry it up and we didn't really have anyone kind of around to help us. Um, so what that means is that with tax, I paid nearly $1,000 for this glider. Um, and I'm actually going to go through and explain why I really regret this purchase, uh, especially because it was so expensive. Um, I will say I like agonized over this purchase. We went to Pottery Barn Kids two times, which is like an hour away drive from us to see it. Um, so I did like look at it quite a bit, but I just, I don't think I understood how I was going to use it and what it was like um, to have a baby when I purchased it. Um, so in this video, I'm going to go over the features and then I'll just end by telling you why I regret buying it and what I wish I would have bought instead. Um, so context, I am a first time mom. My baby is um, five months old. So that's how, you know, that's the stage that we're in right now. Maybe my opinions will change when my baby's a year old or a toddler or something like that. So currently, um, the glider is in our nursery, which is upstairs, so I only use it for middle of the night feeds or early morning feeds when um, our baby wakes up, um, but we don't use it during the day really because we're usually downstairs like in the living room. Um, so in terms of features, the glider obviously will rock, so you know rock like that, and the glider will also swivel, so you can move it um, like this and like this. It's fairly easy to move, um, if you're holding your baby or if your hands are full or, you know, I'm 5'1", so my feet do touch the floor in order to rock and to swivel, so it's not a problem if you're a short person. Um, it, it definitely fits you. Um, the other things that the glider does is do an electric recline. So, you just press these buttons here. The confusing thing is that the um, the button here is actually what brings the, the footrest down and the button here is what pulls it out. So you can see it coming up there. And when the um, footrest reclines, so does the back. So you can see I just moved it up a bit, so now the footrest is coming up and the back is reclining as well. I'm hitting the wall, so I should probably stop doing that. Um, but that is how the electric recline works. It, it is fairly quiet. It's pretty smooth. We haven't had any problems with it at all. And then the other feature is that it has um, USB plugs here. Uh, one thing that people often say in the reviews is that they don't like that this is on the inside of the arm and I would agree with that. We actually don't use these at all because I would actually end up like when I was trying to sit down in the chair knocking into the USB plugs that were there and it was just like super uncomfortable. So we just have USB plugs elsewhere in the room to charge our phones and things like that. So in terms of why I regret buying this glider is um, honestly because I don't use the most expensive feature of the glider which is the electric recline. Um, I thought what I would do is I would end up rocking our baby to sleep um, and then hold the baby while they nap um, and, you know, kick up my legs and kind of hold them like that. So there's two problems with this idea. For one, um, our baby does not fall asleep uh, from just rocking in, in the glider. I have to walk him around or bounce on a yoga ball. Um, it doesn't work to just rock to sleep. So in, in that sense, that's very baby specific, but like that's not something I used it for. Um, and then the other thing is because it's upstairs in our nursery, um, even if we did, you know, get him to sleep up here and then, uh, want to do a contact nap in, in a glider or in a recliner, like there's nothing up here to do besides messing around on our phones. Um, instead we, like what we would do instead is just do a contact nap on the couch downstairs where we can actually watch TV or, you know, have access to all the thing other things in our house rather than just being in the nursery. Um, 
the only other time that we use the glider is in the middle of the night or early morning for feedings, and I would never lean back, um, you know, never recline during those um, times because I would be afraid that I would fall asleep holding him and drop him. Um, so really, like, there's no use right now for us for the electric recline. Again, that might change when our baby is older, but right now, um, uh, not. Um, so that's why I don't use the electric recline feature. Um, I will say that sometimes um, I do try to, like, rock him to see if he'll go back down, um, but uh, I still don't use the electric recline feature on this glider when I'm trying to do that, and that's for two reasons. For one, um, I, you know, if I'm rocking him and I want to put my feet up to kind of lower the pressure on my back or kind of just change the angle to get some muscle relief, um, the glider does not rock when the footrest is up. Um, so that kind of defeats the purpose. Like, you can't, like, kick your legs up and still keep rocking. You have to either rock or kick your legs up. Um, the second reason is... I often hold my baby like over my shoulder after he eats to like pat him on the back and then also rock him or walk him around to kind of get him sleepy. But um, if I want to again sit down while the footrest is up uh, and like pat his back even without rocking, the back of the chair leans backwards when you put the footrest up. Um, so I would end up kind of leaning back with my baby on my shoulder and that puts a lot of pressure on his belly. So after he's eaten, that's not very comfortable for him. He might end up spitting up because he's basically doing a tummy time on my shoulder right after eating. Um, so again, like that's not a, a use case that I would have for this glider. Um, instead, the way that I typically use it is footrest down like you see here, rocking or sometimes, you know, gliding left and right, but certainly not um, putting my feet up. Uh, the last reason I don't really like this glider, and this is much more minor of a point, is because of the material that it's in. Now, I just lint rolled the, um, the glider, but typically what happens, and you can see kind of an example here, is all of my hair, when I'm leaning back on this glider, collects right here. Um, and it's super ugly, uh, and it's really hard to clean off. Like, you can't just vacuum it. It really gets, like, stuck in whatever fabric this is. So I have to, like, pick it out with my fingers and use a lint roller. Um, so that's not ideal, especially with postpartum hair loss where you're just losing all your hair anyway. Um, like, it all collects right here. It's super ugly, um, and it, you know, just doesn't look very clean when um, that happens. Um, so now I want to talk about what I wish I would have bought instead. Um, the first thing that I wish I would have gotten is a glider with an ottoman. Instead of a glider that reclines, I just wish I would have gotten a separate ottoman. That would have been both a lot cheaper, but also I would have been able to rock while my feet were up, which is, you know, exactly what I cannot do in this glider. Um, I didn't do get that when I was looking at gliders because I thought that having an ottoman in the room, like in the middle of the night, would mean that I tripped while I was holding my baby. But honestly, like, that's just not an issue for me. I'm pretty good at navigating this room in the middle of the night. Um, there, you, as you can see, there's like already a bunch of stuff on the floor. So like I'm pretty good at finding those things and not tripping over them. Um, and that would have also allowed me to uh, kick my legs up, be rocking, and also still have my back straight. So I wouldn't have that problem of having to lean back if I wanted my feet up. Um, the other thing I wish I would have done if I was going to spend $1,000 is instead of buying an electric recline glider, is buy two gliders, um, potentially with ottomans, which still would have been way under um, the $1,000 I spent probably. Um, the first for the nursery, like this room that you're looking at right now, and the second for the living room. Um, because, like I said, like if I wanted to do a contact nap or wanted to try to rock the baby to sleep, that's where our TV is. That's where all of our other, like, entertainment stuff is. So then I would have been able to sit in something relatively comfortable that I could rock and, you know, lounge in um, while I'm holding my baby in a space where I actually want to be during the day. Um, we do have a sectional and we do have a recliner that rocks, but it's um, not as smooth as a glider and not as easy to rock, especially because I'm a little bit short. Um, so it would have been nicer to have a glider down there. Um to, to use. And, you know, I, I will link some examples of the things that I'm talking about in the, in the description box below. I went to a store recently and tried out the Storkcraft glider that has an ottoman that's really inexpensive. I think it's under $200. Um, and that was super comfortable. So I wish I had just gotten two of those. We also wouldn't have had to pay for delivery because it's fairly lightweight. So we probably could have gotten it upstairs by ourselves. Um, so yeah, 
I just think instead of investing the thousand dollars in this glider, I wish I would have just gotten something a little less expensive um, and gotten more versatility out of it. So that was my kind of uh, review of the Baby Little Kiwi Glider. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, uh, it's an item that I don't think I needed to buy for us. So thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you also have this glider and had any experiences with it. And I will see you next time. Bye.